Hey, welcome back to the channel, everybody. Um, today's episode is going to be a continuation in our Kivi for Python app building series, and I've got a nice short one for you here. It's just kind of a um, good thing you should know. So in the last video, we introduced the Kivi design language and exporting kind of the style element of your app into a separate file similar to web development with HTML and CSS. Um, so we have this app. Um, and I know we talked about when you create the KV file, you should make it the name of your app minus the word app um, and then dot KV and then uh, KV will just know where to look for it. So today I'm just going to say, um, <clears throat> I'm going to show you quickly how to use uh, the builder so that um, you can specify a file and it doesn't necessarily have to be um, named like that. So let's say that you have a, a huge app that's got like 50 different screens in it and you want to design those screens one at a time. Um, so let's call this something else. Let's say uh, this is different app, okay? And then down here we're, we're running different app. Um, well, maybe, you know, we don't have one single screen. We have like screen one, screen two, screen three. Um, so we don't necessarily want uh, to just have to make it call, call it different.kv um, and you can see there's nothing on the screen now because it's not called different.kv um, so if I run this there's nothing um, there's a way to actually load a specific file using the builder so what we're gonna do um, is we are going to import the builder, uh, which is going to be from Kivi, from Kivi, and this will be dot lang, um, and then import builder, uh, first letter capitalized, builder, and then um, we are going to use the builder right on the next, right on the next line. It's builder dot load file. Um, and then if it's in your directory, like we ours is login.kv and it's in this directory, um, then you can just do it without defining a file path. But if you have it stored in like C users, documents, uh, Kivi design files, whatever, sometimes you'll have to specify the folder. If you have a bunch of them and you're grouping them all together in a folder, you might have to say, you know, Kivi design files slash login. Um, but so now we're, we should be loading in the uh, Kivi file from before. And if let's go ahead and run this now and see if that's working. Yep. So if you design like multiple different interfaces um, and you want to be able to switch between them, that's when you would call the builder. Uh, so that's, um, that's kind of a good thing to know. I'll probably keep the builder in here for future videos, but as long as you're working on one screen, there's no reason you can't um, just make the name of your app uh, also the name of your Kivi file. So the builder's a nice thing. It, it's how you'll load files even if, um, even if like you want to put images or things on the screen, which we'll take a look at later. Um, using the builder is super useful, so I definitely want to introduce that tool. And then one other thing we didn't talk about in the previous video, just because that was kind of a longer video. Now that all of the um, widgets that we're creating are being uh, specified inside of our design Kivi file, we can actually go ahead and um, we don't need these anymore. You see, they're already grayed out. We can get rid of all that. Um, we also could get rid of the import Kivi, but I like keeping it there. Um, but we don't need to import button, label, text input, grid layout, any of that specifically because the Kivi de design file calls it out. Um, so I cleared that out and yep, we still get everything. So uh, that's just an, a useful quick introduction to the Kivi builder function. I'm not going to chew up too much time on this video. That's a nice little... Um, intro to a useful tool. So hopefully you found that useful. If you have any questions about why using that or how to use that, go ahead and let me know about it in the comments below. If you found this or anything else on the channel useful, I really appreciate a like and a subscribe. It helps the channel out a ton. And as always, good luck with your code and thanks for watching. Thanks. Bye.